So it's almost summertime and it's time for a new bullet journal. And this time I'm going with the theme of something I love dearly. Ice cream. But let's get into bullet journal. It's no secret that I love ice cream. And so does my whole family. I don't know, is it nature or nurture, but we eat it all year long. So I made all kinds of ice cream, literally over 300 flavors in many shapes and forms. From ice pops to soft serve cones, slushies, slurpees, granitas, and of course, scoops. Sorry, I don't have all those photographed because we tend to eat it before somebody remembers to take a picture. Ice cream melts quickly and we are kind of the opposite of social media family. And no, my voice is not like this because of ice cream, I was just sick the whole week. But surprisingly, I haven't done ice cream bullet journal in my six year Buja journey so far. So it's about time, wouldn't you say? Ice cream is a very versatile theme because ice cream comes in so many shapes, textures and colors. That's why you can have a lot of fun with your cover, and I certainly did. I went with melting letters title because I've always loved that kind of lettering style, but I've never done it and it seems more than appropriate here. On the next page is a classic cone with three basic flavors, vanilla, strawberry, and of course chocolate, with little chunks of chocolate in it, because that's the best kind of chocolate ice cream, right? I chose these three flavors because they were the first ice cream I've ever eaten. When we were little, ice cream was sold in a cardboard box, totally rectangular, and it had these three flavors on top of each other. I think you can still buy that kind of ice cream here. Not in the cardboard box though. But now we're spoiled with homemade ice cream, so it's been a while since I've tried it. And those are the basic flavors anyway. They're in every ice cream shop, sometimes they're the only options. But nowadays not so much anymore. We have a favorite ice cream shop at grandpa's that we visit every time that we visit him. And that one has more than 20 flavors and they keep changing them, so my oldest is obsessed with trying every single one of them. She has a list on her phone and everything. <laughs> as far as the drawing goes, I did my pencil sketch first, went over it with technical pen, or you could use fine liner, and colored it with watercolors, as usually. I added some last touches with white gel pen. I have two in different thicknesses. One is Signo Uniball pen that everybody on YouTube swears by, and the other one is Hybrid Gel Grip pen, in case somebody's wondering. Those two seem to work for me. For my monthly, I went with ice pops. I drew 30 of them. The dots in my bujo really helped lining them up, but you could also just draw the grid with the ruler and get the same result. I love this idea, as I mostly love my monthlies. I don't know why, they're just versatile and I guess you don't run out of ideas if you just need to produce 12 a year. Same goes for trackers. It's amazing how many things you can turn into trackers. In this case, I drew a giant serving of 30 scoops of ice cream and I do the classic tracker by coloring it in according to how happy I am with my life. Or at least that's the plan. I suck at filling my mood trackers. For the habit tracker, you can put a small calendar onto almost any object and it becomes a tracker. Here I drew different kinds of ice cream. I should have also drawn a slushy, but oh well, next time. You can do it instead of me though. <laughs> I'll add the titles once I decide what I'm gonna track next month. But I already know 9 trackers would be plenty. For my brain dump page, I drew larger items related to ice cream because I wanted to have some nice space to write in all my ideas down. I've drawn a board that they have in front of ice cream shops where they list the flavors or simply the price and an invitation to come for a cone or two. On the next page, there's an ice cream van, but without the noise, <laughs> and an old fashioned ice cream stand. And here's the final flip through. Okay, I get it. This time I should retain <laughs> from my singing. I know my voice is really awful today, but you know, a girl has to have some fun, right? No, I won't sing that. I hope to see you next week with some more bullet journal fun with some ice cream weekly bullet journal. I have a lot more ice cream ideas for you. So please stay tuned. And if you want to see some of our homemade ice cream, let me know in the comment and I'll video some of them. See you next week. Bye bye. I don't know how to lick it on camera because it always looks weird. <laughs> That's why my boyfriend likes when I'm eating ice cream, I guess.